Hello, 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 ladies, gentlemen. Welcome. Do we do it again? To a new segment on the stream. We'll do this weekly. Uh, it's called New World EU PvP Comp Rank Tier List. All right. Okay, I could make a better. Listen, I could do that simpler. But we have a couple of companies here across multiple servers. Probably missing a couple of companies. And if I am, let me know. Um, <laughs> so people just got five ads. It do be what it do be. Thanks for the coffee. I appreciate it. Okay, so what do we got? We got Mango Loco. We got uh, Badgers. We got Ronaldo Gref, Paragod, GCBC, Ascend, KDS Baguettes. Uh, don't know these guys because I can't fucking read. Unleash, Trinity, Athen, Men in the Cave with the Torch. We have uh, Monkey Madness. We have Raz Dynasty, Mad Bears. We got Minerva's Warriors. Uh, yeah, these guys, and then Yugo, okay? Or, or Egot, let's call them Egot. So, yeah, you, you get the idea, right? Okay, so let me open up this, let me open up this. Okay, these guys are inky too. All right, so where do we begin? Where do we begin? Let's start with... Dude, I wish there was a bonsai right here. Like, where's this like from Evonium? Bro, what the fuck is Evonium, man? I don't know Evonium. All right, um, can I, wait, let me see if I can add something. <laughs> Dude, what is a volume, man? Hello? Are you trolling? All right, let's take a look. Where do we start? We start, do we start with, with Badgers, all right? Badgers recently defended versus, uh, what, a merge of NA. So NA, okay, so those of you who are unfamiliar with the, with the lore, yeah? And they made characters or moved a couple of their accounts to, to Bari, um, you know, to, to, to see how they would do. And instead of attacking either Mango or, or, or Para, they went for the Badgers, all right? They went for the Badgers and they were like, boys, this is a 10-minute speedrun, all right? This is a 10-minute speedrun. And then Badgers ended up completely holding them out for like, I don't know, 25 minutes. And then... Uh, like Egot got outside two points in the last five minutes. Um, okay, so because of that, yeah, I think it's fair for us to put Badgers as the first company on the listing. Now, I could already spoil how the companies are, um, but I think Badgers, we're gonna put them. Yo, first of all, Gary P, thank you very much for three months. I appreciate you. Where do we put Badgers? Where do we put Geth Badgers? Just subscribed, yo, yo. So we need to we need to think very carefully right now because if I were to put badgers on somewhere here, then egot would be very low. So how about I think badgers are a solid company. Um, they are not the best company, not the two be top, top two best companies in EU, not the top three best companies in EU, but they're a solid you know solid solid company. They have a couple of good players, a um, couple of demons, and you know couple of people that are still uh, still improving all right so badgers i think it's it's very safe to say we put them on a nice little b all right nice in the middle now the next company worth talking about is kds kds is in eu scene known as probably the best pvp company on the server um they are known to open world pvp on every server they go to they stop every single person every single company that ever tries to push they stop them. They, they pull up 50 people for Everfall. Even if they don't own Everfall, they will pull up with 50 people to fight people that are pushing Everfall. Okay, so because of that, we're going to respect KDS and put them <laughs> okay, on, on sit here, on sit here, okay? KDS, listen, I, res I respect KDS because they always pull up. They always pull up, bro. They have 50 Divas. They show up, they don't win. But they show up, all right? KDS is good sit here. <laughs> Just chill, guys. Don't laugh. KDS, listen, I think KDS is great. Back in the day, like if we look at one year and a half ago, I played for KDS, all right? I joined them. And I think what's keeping KDS from being an S-tier company is the fact that the way they communicate their rotations <laughs> is one caller says... <laughs> Hello, Roger Command. <laughs> then, then I can't, man. I, I'm not kidding. They're like, hello, Roger Command. <laughs> They're like, Roger Command rotating group 5 to see. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not kidding. I fucking love them. They're a full, they're a full roleplay company. They are, they're actually like kind of funny to play for, but I think respectfully, nice little scene theater, all right? Now let's go and move on to. <clears throat> what do we do? We do. Okay, so this is. Listen, let, let's just jump, jump around servers a little bit, okay? Let's jump into men in a cave with a torch. How many people in the chat right now have heard about men in a cave in a torch? With a torch. Okay, we heard. Hey, we have about five. We have about five. Now, due to respect, I don't know much about men in a cave with a torch. So respectfully, we're going to put them on the no clue. And who knows, maybe by the next year, at least next week, we're going to move them up. All right, we're going to move them up a little bit. I don't know them. I'm sorry. All right. Maybe D tier, maybe no clue. Let's put them D tier respectfully. Okay, D tier respectfully. Um, let's move on to T Baguettes. This is a company we love to play for. This is a Nisa company right now. Arguably the best Nisa company at the moment. Can we all agree on that? T Baguettes best Nisa company right now. I think it's it's fair to say so, yes? On Nisa, for sure they are the best. Um, I think Baguettes, would Baguettes win versus Badgers if they pulled up with like a full roster versus Badgers on body? What are we thinking? I think Baguettes are, if there was like another subsection, they would be between A and B. I think Baguettes are maybe a little better than Badgers if they're having like a full roster, including Mercs. So I think respectfully, we're going to put baguettes on the A tier, okay? I think we can all agree. A tier is good. I don't think they are S tier, obviously. And A tier, I think it's nice and uh, nice, respectful, okay? We put baguettes on the on the good old A tier here. All right, let's move on to... Okay, so who fights baguettes often? We have... Let's put a little bit of their enemies right now. So GCBC, right? GCBC, again, Nisa company, often, often attacking uh, baguettes. Often really fun wars. So what is GCBC missing from fighting baguettes? For some reason, they're playing like six sword and shields, I swear. Every time I play a war versus GCBC, I just get tossed around by anxiety, by, f I think, Fuser, I don't know who else. They're just kicking me in the ass with his fucking shields. So because of that, they're playing too many shields. We're gonna put them... Okay, so are they... Would they beat Badgers? Would they, would they beat Badgers? They would definitely beat KDS. Um, and because of that, I think... I think we have to do an unspeakable thing right here and unfortunately demote KDS to D tier and GCBC takes a solid spot as a C tier company at the moment. But because of unpleasantries in the chat, GCBC all of a sudden jumps up a spot and KDS is back on the C tier. So GCBC versus Badgers, I think Badgers would, would win, but I don't think Badgers are A tier at the moment. However, they did just beat an A, right? So... You know, Badger is looking to be jumping up a tier list maybe in the next week. Okay, maybe in the next week. GCBC, we're going to be following in the next week to see if they are B or if they're dropping out to C. Okay. All right. Who do we got next? Uh, we, we got Minerva's Warriors. Now, once again, how many people in the chat have heard of Minerva's Warriors? I think we have to respectfully put them in the no clue for now. And hopefully we see more from Minerva's Warriors. But who knows? All right. Who knows? Perhaps we move them in the D tier for now with men in a cave with a torch. All right, listen, there is nothing wrong being a D tier company. You just have to improve a little bit and climb climb up there. All right. Now, let's take one of the big boys, okay? Para or Manga, what are we taking? I think respectfully, we're going to be taking Para today. All right, Para today. And where does Para go? All right. If you took Para a month ago, we would put them very high on the S tier. If you took Para when they went to NA, we would put them over here with KDS. Maybe in the D tier. But now they are kind of getting together a little bit, yeah? They managed to defend Everfall today. It was very fucking close. Um, but I think due to respect to Para, they've been on the on the on the fucking new world scene since the beginning. And I think because of that, we have to give them A tier. I think everything else would be a meme. Sure, it would be great for drama. Everybody would be flaming. But I think Para, respectfully, is better than KDS. And I do believe it's better than Badgers, even though... Listen, respectfully A, okay? Respectfully A. I think this one is a, is a fair one. Okay, now, now, here's the question. Here is the question. Ronaldo Grav, what are we thinking? So... There is a personal 
personal uh, vendetta I have against Ronaldo Grev, okay? Here, here's the insider story nobody asked about, but I will explain anyway. So I played for Ronaldo Grev, okay? I was homeless and I was like, you know what? Invite me to the company. I will play for you. Don't worry about it, okay? And I played for them 10, 20 wars, okay? And then there was a Mango War and Para War at the same time. And I said, I will prioritize Mango War. You know what happened? I got kicked from Discord, kicked from company, deleted from all the Discord channels. I'm telling you five minutes it took and I was gone. So because of that, I think I'm going to respectfully pair them with, I think, listen, okay. I still like them. Okay. Hopefully they give me a Merc spot again because it was kind of fun worse, but uh, we're going to put them alongside with Badgers. And I think we're going to also treat it left to right strong. Okay. So we're going to do it like this. So what does that mean? Para, I think is better than baguettes. I think Badgers are better than Ronaldo Graf, is better than GCBC. Okay. I think this is fair. Yeah. We're going to put GCBC in the B tier. And obviously, what was I talking about? Ronaldo Graf. We're going to keep Ronaldo Graf on the B tier. They won against Badgers. Okay. They won against Badgers. So Ronaldo Graf is technically better than Badgers and technically better than, uh, than, than Eagles, right? Or Eagles. All right. Now. Do we leave Mango Loco for the end, right? Okay, Ascend. Okay, let's take a look at Ascend. So I don't know much about Ascend, but I know that there have been a couple of times where they attacked baguettes and they always put up a fight, but not like the best one, right? So they definitely are not a D tier company and I definitely think they beat KDS. I definitely think they, they beat KDS, right? They are for sure better than KBS. Now, are they better than GCBC? What are we thinking? I think Ascend is definitely better than, than KDS, but definitely worse than GCBC. I'm thinking for now, this might update. This might update. And as I said, we're going to do this every week, okay? Right now, what is it? Sunday. Perfect. Every Sunday from now on, tier list. All right? It's going to be huge. Shout out to Willy for this, by the way. I completely stole the concept from him. Um, I think Ascend for now is here, but we might upgrade it, all right? We might upgrade this a little bit. All right, and now, okay, I don't know, what company is this? Does somebody know how to read it? It's cut out, so I don't see it. Do, do we know? I don't know. Let's go to Unleashed, because I don't know what company this is. I need, I need help here. Help. <laughs> All right, listen. We bring pain. All right, once again, we bring pain. Unfortunately, I don't know much about them. That's why they just automatically get put into the D tier, because I have no idea who they are. But Danica is complaining. So let's take a look. What are we thinking? Also, how can you have baguettes on the list when they are like half body outs? Yeah, that's why they are eight tier. Uh, baguettes are on the list because every company that owns any sort of land on the, on the fucking server is on the list, okay? Oh my god, where's POD? Hello? Path of Destiny, fast. Dude, where's POD, man? Dude, how is there no POD on this? Oh my god, I'm, we missed the chance, bro. Next week, I'm bringing POD back. It is time. POD would be honestly on top. Like, ah, shit. My bad, my bad. Listen, there might be companies missing. I'm accepting formal complaints on Discord. If your company is not on the list, next week, you're going to be on the list, all right? Sh I'm sorry, boys, man. Just DMs, DMs, all right? And how do you provide the DMs on Discord? You send me a screenshot of a logo of a company and then you explain me more about the company. Where's Bonsai? Bonsai would be S tier. Easily. Old Bonsai would be right here. Look, on the very top, okay? All right, let's take a look. So, um, what do we got? We got Monkey Madness, okay? We played the war for Monkey Madness right now. We got a little, uh, little Nisa company situation right now. Pardon, Nix company situation. Now, there is a bit of an unfortunate situation about uh, Nyx. There is absolutely no competition. And we're going to treat Monkey Madness and Raz Dynasty together in this one. And so Raz Dynasty attacked Monkey Madness and didn't manage to take a point today. So because of that, we're going to respectfully still put them on top of the D tier for now. Okay, on top of the D tier for now, if they manage to get... You know, a little bit of an upset against Monkey Madness, perhaps they get up to the C tier. But for now... Raz Dynasty is going to be on top of the D tier. I just got a food delivery, but I need to finish my recording and it looks amazing and I'll eat it in a bit, okay? Thank you. Um, all right, so let's take a look. So what else is there? Oh my God, this looks so good, by the way. All right, let's take a look. Um, 
Uh, okay, listen. Danica, I read everything you wrote to me. Um, what am I put? Dude, I don't know. Look, Danica is trying to 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 change my my positioning right now in the DMs. Uh, we're not gonna tolerate uh, that at the moment. All right, let's move on. So what do we got? A fan. Uh, this is also Nick's company, and I think they are owning like a couple of. Wait, who is he, bro? Who is here? <laughs> who is who is he? Which company? I know you're saying Unleashed. Where's Unleashed even? Oh, this one. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, okay. Apparently, better than the KDS. There we go. We put Unleashed. Listen, okay. Danica, I forgot. Okay, Unleashed is going to be C tier for now. Hopefully, they, they do some damage and we can move them up for the next week, okay? Is that respectful? Is that okay? Okay, that's respectful. Uh, unfortunately, Athen, um, Nick's companies don't count because there is absolutely no competition on the Fresh server at the moment. So, respectfully, Athen is going to be just behind uh, Raz Dynasty for now. And then, due to respect to Monkey Madness, since they are holding the best cities on Nyx and they did beat Ra pretty hard, I'm thinking we move them into the C tier as currently the best fresh company there is in EU. Can we agree on that? We can't put them up with Badgers, Ronaldo, or GCBC. So we have to give them a nice little respectful C tier position for now. Do we agree? I think right here. Under KDS, I think it's fair for now. You never know. Maybe they move servers, they show some damage, and we can move them up. Um, we'll see. We'll see as the time goes, okay? Yeah, Isolt was better, now Monkey. Exactly, yes. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Trinity. Now, Trinity, you, the reason why I'm lowering this Nyx company so low is because Trinity was on Nyx, and they were owning everything. They moved to Nisa, and they were unable to do anything, all right? So, because of that, Trinity, unfortunately... They were better than Monkey Madness, right? Can we agree on that? Nyx, Nyx players. I think they were better than Monkey Madness. Easily, right? They they wouldn't be over... Like, either they are here or they are here. Trinity dodges Monkey Madness. They never fought. What? How did they do that? Okay, because of that, even though that might not be a true information, I don't know, we're going to put them below Monkey Madness for now. We're going to put them in C, but Monkey Madness on top. And now, boys, 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 Russian mad bears. Once again, uh, I, I don't know much about Russian mad bears, so thinking we will just be respectful today and we're going to put them on the D tier. I think I like their name more than I like... I, I think we put them here respectfully. I like Man in the Cave with a Torch is a better name. And I think we put them here like this. And now... Now, now, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now it's getting spicy, right? Now let's take a look at... Uh, at did I, what, what's this company name? For, I ne, I, it's cut, so I can never tell. Inky... Inky Tood. Inky Tood. I, I don't know, I don't know. I think also, same thing as before. I, um, I think we put them D, yeah? But where in D? Just put in no clue? Okay, Inky Tood in no clue. They're good. Wait, are they? Okay, because somebody said they're good. Okay, so they won first light versus Mad Bears. There we go. So that immediately gives them above Mad Bears. Look, listen, they won versus them. We're going to respectfully not put anybody in the no clue tier, okay? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment everybody has been waiting for, okay? We are now rating the NA company, you know? The NA superstar team that came to EU uh, called EGOT. And they were ready, they were ready to, to go crazy. They were ready to show themselves. And the way they wanted to show themselves was by attacking Badgers. Okay, so they attacked the Badgers. Uh, not Mango, not Para, they went for Badgers. And uh, Badgers held them outside for 25 minutes. So I think because of that, I believe that KDS would personally, I think KDS would win against Egod. So I'm thinking we put them a little bit better than Monkey Madness, a little bit better than a fresh. <laughs> I can't be serious. I think we put them just under KDS for now, for now. But next week, next week, we can move them up. Next week, we could move them up technically. Listen, it's big problems. It is lack of sleep. It is, it is what it is. I think KDS in a fair 50v50 open world battle, 
I think KDS destroys them. I mean, they're going to be Roger Command coming from top of the wall, jump down immediately, and they would go crazy on Egon. Like, actually. I'm telling you, man, KDS is on top. Like, I, I think respectfully, KDS just because they are known to be one of the best companies on EU, we're going to move them above Unleashed and above Ascendance. And I think Egon would actually beat Unleashed, and I think Egon would actually beat Ascend as well. So I think this is now actual correct representation of EGOT after we saw them failing to beat Badgers. We cannot put them equally to Badgers because Badgers held them outside and they were spamming like free healthcare, like so on. So EGOT cannot be beat here at the moment, maybe next week. So they have to be C tier and they don't beat KDS. I think this is fair to say, right? So we're going to put them into just a little bit under KDS, respectfully. And that, ladies and gentlemen, now leaves us with the last pick, okay? We got Mango Loco, all right? Mango Loco created out of nowhere. Bonsai gone, 2.0 gone, and then Mango Loco comes in, sweeps out of nowhere, okay? Now, where do we put them? Where do we put Mango Loco at the moment? Is Mango Loco S tier? I think if we did this tier list after Mango Loco won versus Para in 12 minutes, obviously when I was murking for the first time, we would put them S tier if we did this tier list last week. Okay? Where is Dauntless? Oh, Dauntless is disbanded. Shit. Unlucky. So, cannot put them S tier this week. Maybe next week, if Mango wins fucking ever for finally, we can move them up to S. And now where do we put them? Mango better than Para? Mango worse than Para? Is Mango even better than fucking NA company? Who knows? I think respectfully, we're going to put Mango as currently the best company in EU. Um, there is no S tier companies at the moment because an S tier company would have Everfall, Windsward, Brightwood, pardon, and Brimstone. And they would hold, they would hold everybody. Two point holding, right? Once again, if we did this last week when Para couldn't get a point from them, when they beat Para in 12 minutes, it would look like this. But because of today's performance and the last Everfall defense uh, that Para won, we're still going to put them a little bit over Para. Uh, but this is now very respectful. I'm actually 100%. I think this is very fair tier list. Honestly. Do we have any complaints in the chat right now? I think this is as fair as I can be, by the way. No drama, no nothing. I don't think we can put Ego above KDS. No shot. We can't put them here. No way. They have to be here this week. They have to be below KDS, above Ascend today. But next week, maybe they go above. Like, I, I believe they can do better. But look, as somebody who has played on NA, 160 ping, having everybody on 160 ping, it's actually fucking hard. Ascend is not beat here, guys. Come on, man. Ain't no way. <laughs> Dude, Saturzao, you do not understand the power of KDS. The reason why they are holding the top of the C tier is not because of their war performance, okay? It is because of their... PvP mastermind leadership, okay, and they show up to every open world PvP situation. And I like their comps. And that's it. And I think that's respectful. Because let me tell you, when you are in the war and you're pushing C point, and they say on the main comps, Roger command, we need 10 players on C. And then another guy says, Roger, Roger, sending group 1, 2 to C, you cannot not laugh. Like, trust me, you need to be in those wars. It's too fucking funny. Like, it's too good. It's too good. So respectfully, this is where we're going to call it. This is it. Like, this is it. This is it. And respectfully, next week, Sunday, what is it? Today is 11th. Next week is going to be, what, like 18th? We're going to do it again. We're going to revisit this. We're going to see what changes. And maybe we're going to add some companies that we forgot today. All right. Th that is it. That is it. What are we thinking so far? I think this is fair. But if we did like NA, right? Para would be fucking D tier NA. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Looks good. And this was fun. Look, I'm very glad. We had like super active chat throughout this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, like, this was a banger to make. It was actually kind of funny. Not going to lie.